Falcon is UVI's entry in the high-end virtual instrument pool. It's been around for a few years now. The current version is Falcon 2, though throughout the course I'll just refer to it as Falcon. Falcon is a hybrid synth and sampler with multiple options for sound generation and a really comprehensive set of controls for designing and creating instrument sounds and effects. As far as these kinds of instruments go, it's up there with Native Instruments Contact in terms of flexibility and depth of programming with its inclusion of both sample-based instruments and multiple synthesis engines like analog, FM, wavetable, additive, and more, along with a generous collection of effects, highly flexible modulation options, its own internal mixer, and even its own scripting language for hardcore programmers and professional sound and instrument designers. UVI might not be as well known as Native Instruments and its ubiquitous contact engine, but Falcon's deep and flexible architecture gives it the potential to be a serious contender. And now that UVI has entered into an arrangement with Avid to offer Falcon as a free bundled instrument with Pro Tools, it's likely to become even much more widely known and adopted. Falcon is a cross-platform plugin in all the standard formats, as well as a standalone instrument. The Pro Tools version, of course, is strictly an AAX plugin. Sharp-eyed sound designers might notice a similarity between Falcon and Motu's Mach 5. That's because the same UVI engine is behind that instrument, and Falcon should be compatible not only with its own dedicated libraries from UVI, but with most libraries designed from Mach 5 as well. However, Falcon is more up-to-date than the version of the engine used in Mach 5, so newer sounds and patches may not necessarily be 100% backward compatible with that other virtual instrument. When it comes to using Falcon, of course, it's perfectly easy to simply load factory or third-party sounds and instrument patches and just play. But the real power of the instrument is the ability to get in and tweak the sounds, layering multiple parts for complex sounds, chaining effects, dialing up motion and rhythm with Falcon's arpeggiators, and assigning modulation sources, including MIDI modulation from wheels, pedals, and other external controllers. But like with any powerful instrument, to take advantage of its complexities and get the most out of its powerful options, there's going to be a learning curve, and that's where this course comes in. While it would be impossible to cover every aspect of Falcon in depth in a single course, even the 200-page manual only just scratches the surface on many of the more advanced features and options, this course is meant to provide a solid introduction to the overall layout, organization, and programming complexities of Falcon. I'll cover basic navigation of the user interface, and the organization and use of factory sounds and patches. I'll look at the three panels, the organizational tree, the browser, and the main programming window, and we'll see the various panes in that main window. Edit, where most programming and tweaking in Falcon is done, as well as the effects, events, and mods panels, and the info panel, where custom control layouts can be designed and implemented, including the advanced possibilities offered by the built-in scripting language. We'll take a little more of a detailed look at the different levels of a sound's architecture in Falcon. The key group level, where synth and sample oscillators are loaded into the mapping editor, and the layer and program levels above, any of which can include effects, events, and modulators. We'll see how modulation sources can be assigned to various destinations in a patch, and how effects can be incorporated at different levels in the overall architecture. We'll look at the events and performance options including a very brief glance at the built-in scripting language. The course will wrap up with a few simple examples of tweaking factory sounds and creating a couple of simple patches from scratch. To start off, I'll very briefly go through a little background on virtual instrument architecture in general, and then Falcon's approach to the organization of the elements in an instrument in the next video.